Welcome to the Lambda Gain Learning Center, Chapter 3, Fiber Types. As we saw in the last chapter, fibers act as very thin tunnels which trap optical signals and transmit them from one end to another. They also possess a set of characteristics which help define them. These characteristics help classify every fiber as being either single mode or multimode. The key determinant of which family a fiber belongs to is the size of its core. First, Single mode fibers are distinguished by their 9 micron diameter cores. The relatively small core allows room for only one light signal to be transmitted at once, which in turn makes single modes immune to modal dispersion. They are able to handle higher bandwidths and are used for long distance applications. Finally, the transmitters they are compatible with are usually more expensive. Next, multimode fibers either have 50 or 62.5 micron diameter cores. These larger cores have room for multiple optical signals to be transmitted simultaneously across the fiber. This makes multimodes sensitive to modal dispersion. They do not have as high a bandwidth capacity as single mode fibers, but their transmitters are generally less expensive. Multimode fibers can further be separated into step index and graded index fibers. The main differentiator between the two is that their cores have a very different refractive index. The refractive index measures how much a ray of light is bent as it passes from one transmission medium to another. This effect is responsible for the optical illusion of a straw being bent in a glass of water. Step index fibers possess a homogeneous refractive index throughout the core such that light gets reflected in a jagged manner throughout the cable. Conversely, the refractive index of the core of a graded index fiber cable gets progressively greater as it approaches the central axis. As a result, Light gets reflected in a sinusoidal manner as it travels from one end to the other. Now for the applications. The properties and costs associated with each fiber dictate its applications. Single modes are generally used over long distances such as in wide area networks. On the other hand, multimodes are used for short distances such as in local area networks. Another common multimode application is in antenna towers. Old coax cables are being replaced by fiber optic cables to reduce cost and weight and accommodate more bandwidth in cellular systems. Fiber is used to connect towers and then go up the tower to connect the antennas. Many carriers prefer to use multimode fiber over single mode fiber to connect the remote radio unit at the top of the tower to the baseband unit at the bottom because the distance is so short. Thank you for watching the Lambda Gain Learning Center. We hope this was helpful in enlightening your knowledge of fiber types. Be sure to check out our next chapter, which will cover connector types.